20 hours of travel. What do you guys have to say about that? No. Just no. We didn't kill each other. That's the that's best a, that's part. A, that's the miracle of it, honestly. I brought uh, my guitar player with me and my my uh, my day to day manager Taylor. Are we are we better because of this? Certainly not. Well, I was a spoiled brat on travel day. I they they booked me business class, so I got to sleep in a little pod with my little jammies. As far as like must have items, I, I have to have a fan everywhere I go, so I run a little hot. Arena to get here on time because we were late, but they're moving it back. Now I'm a hot, sweaty mess. Uh, we're praying for a fan. If you're out there, pray for me. I had a show and I fell asleep in the evening and, and I woke up and I was like 10 minutes from needing to be on stage. So I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I like ran to the stage and barely made it. So these days. What are we doing? I'm trying to put my strap on my guitar. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's up? You're hey, a bunch of ballads. Hey, 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 hey. I think I got it. It meant so much to be invited to go to C2C um, because I'm a new artist. I'm a brand new artist. So to get to. I mean, so many people in life don't even get to go to Europe, you know? So to get to go to Europe and do it with music is just like a double win, so. Best part of C2C for me was honestly just, just I got to meet some fans, which was really special, and just the shows. I just loved playing them so much. It was so much fun. And just seeing the difference of, of, of culture and all that kind of stuff, but man, they were just like diehard fans. So cool. I had an absolute blast. Go meet some people. How's it going? Oh, it's recording. Is that recording right there? Is it recording? <laughs> Do you want to play never I don't know what is in this drink, but it is so good. It's it says so what does energy mean? Calories. It just, calories? In Europe, energy is calories. This is just an orange soda. Correct. Oh, okay. Is this what caused me to have diarrhea this trip? <laughs> I don't know, man. What's up everybody? We are backstage at the Indigo. We're about to go on. I'm about to go on. What do you mean we're I, I don't The crowds overseas that I, I noticed, like in, in, in London um, particularly, they, they really are a listening crowd. They want to hear the song, they want to hear you perform. They will sing along if you, if you push them to, but for the most part, it seems like they just want to like support and listen and be entertained. I was absolutely not expecting uh, a huge reaction from the crowd when I got out there. I'm like, do they even know who I am? But that was, that was, that was really great. I've wanted to come to London my entire life. I have. And uh, I never thought I'd show up and play music for people singing back to me. This is the coolest thing. Thank you so much. Truly. This room right here. You guys are making my dreams come true, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. All right, this is the part where you're on cloud nine right here and feel crazy, but this is amazing. And when anybody sings your songs back, it's the craziest thing in the world. But when you're in another country, like it just hits different. 